Okay guys, thanks for tuning in once again with Built J. Today I have a short video for you. It's in regards to a D16Y7, but this applies for any four piston, four cylinder block from Honda or Acura. It all pretty much is the same across the board. Uh, in this case, you can clearly tell that it was burning oil. Uh, but this video is solely about uh, spun bearings, a way to find out that you have spun bearings. And here's a, a simple way to take a quick look. A visual is always the first step. Um, most likely you want to check the oil pan first uh, for shavings if you do suggest um, a spun bearing. Or if you have a slight knock, you definitely want to check that out ASAP. Uh, because you don't want it to progress and get wor worse. That way you can stop the problem, correct the problem, and put in new bearings if you need new bearings. Uh, first off, you're definitely going to want to go ahead and check the oil pan. Uh, in my case, this oil pan, you could clearly see shavings over here, caked up in that corner. There's shavings down there. Kind of looks like glitter, in a sense, and you can see a shaving right there, actual chunk, which I'll show you. So, that's the first course of action, is to drop the oil pan, take a look in there, see if you see any pieces of metal, any shavings. It's going to look like glitter. If you do see fine speckles of glitter, or should I say metal shavings, then you probably most likely have a spun bearing and you want to go ahead and correct the problem as soon as possible before you start hearing um, a very heavy knock. So we'll look into this and if you take a quick look here in my case it happened to be this cylinder over here which is closest to the timing belt side uh, which is the crank side where the crank pulley sits which I have already removed. If you take a look over here, watch closely guys, let me get you in a little bit closer. Watch this. Wow, look at all that play in there. Let's take a look over here. You got nothing, nothing at all. Let me show you one more time. You got slight play left and right, but not much up and down. So let me go ahead and show you close up on the bottom of the cylinder due to the spun bearing what it looks like. Oh yeah, take a look at that. You see that? That right there? That's actually from the piston. Well, not the piston. The Actually, you can see the piston right there. But that's from the rod, bottom of the rod, actually hitting the bottom of the cylinder. If you look over here... You've got nothing. That's completely how it's supposed to be. And go back. Wow. That's amazing. You can see the piston sitting right next to that. That's crazy. Alright, let me get you guys zoomed out. 
So with that said, I'm going to go ahead and remove it so we can go ahead and take a closer look. These bolts right here, they are 14 millimeter bolts. We'll go ahead and remove those now. Just so you guys know, I had already removed the oil pickup, which actually sits right here. Two bolts over here, and then you have one here, and then one down below as they sit right over here. So now I'll take a rubber mallet, and I'll give it a couple wax, and that should uh, break loose. So let me do that. Right, so these are your your crank bearings. Take a quick look at. They're not too bad, but when you're replacing or even opening uh, the bottom of the block, I highly suggest replacing them, uh, anyways. So that's that. Oh wow, yeah, that is no good. That literally cro cracked the cradle. Nope. See if I can get that get that view for you. Got the bearings just falling out. So check that out. Hopefully you guys can see that. Wow. Cracked. That is no good. Let me see if I can focus this camera for you. There we go. Yeah, look at that. That's why I had the knock. And that thing is cracked. Yeah, check that out right here. So that is a cracked. Say bye bye to this. So now we'll go ahead and take off your rod bolts. And these are 12 millimeters. Go ahead and crack them loose for now. I'm gonna focus on cylinder one and cylinder number four. Wow. 
Wow, that's nuts. All right, so I got my rubber mallet. See if I can break those loose. You might want to get a rag as everything under here is slippery and if you're doing this process your hands are probably greasy as well oh yeah wow these went through a lot of heat stress but you could just see the bearing here See if I could get that to focus for you. There we go. Look at that. That is no good. That's something you don't want to see. So that's that one. All right. Wow. Yeah, this is definitely a no go. Cylinder number one, compromised. Cylinder number one, right here, split. That's no good. This went under massive amount of stress. And then it snapped. So there's that one. that piston and uh, the rings don't look to be in bad shape they're actually not too bad that looks good a lot of carbon deposit this right here is a prime example of uh just not changing your oil man just change your freaking oil don't wait over 3,000 miles to change your oil. Change it at 28, change it at 29, change it at 25. The earlier, the better. Don't run on shitty oil. You will blow your bearings or and everything else. And that's just not, not good. You know, it comes costly and the repairs are very expensive. So keep that in mind, guys. All right, let's go to the culprit of this all. Wow. You could just see the damage that was done. So, let's go ahead and focus there. So this one here, Cylinder number one, this one here, cylinder number four. It's all gouged up. It's pretty darn bad. As you guys can see. All right, guys. Sorry about that. The video had cut out. Like I said, let's get back to the culprit and see what's going on here. Um, let me give you a close-up, actually, of this uh, cylinder four bearing. Take a look at that. Focus is here. Come on, baby. Look at that. Is that bad or what, guys? Gouged, cracked, everything. Just horrible. All right, let me get you back on the tripod, and we'll get continuing with this. All right, guys, back to the culprit. Let's go. All right. I'll grab my rubber mallet and get this piston out of its home. All right.
oh yeah this is no good this piston is another one it's all gouged up due to the underlying problems everything is uh is done for see that wow there's another nick right there check out the bottom of this rod it's all gouged up it's beyond repair if you ask me but some may use it who knows <laughs> but i wouldn't even dare wow this is crazy these things are bound together that's how bad they are they're actually sticking together let me get you You can see these. Look at this. They're all, they're as one. <laughs> they're stuck together. Look at that. Craziness. These things are completely shot. Yep. That crank, no good. Say goodbye to the crank. There's one half. Wow. These things are barely a piece of metal. So, you just take a look there. They are completely done for. So guys, please take care of your stuff. You don't want it to get like this. And the crank itself is all gouged up so you would need to have that crank you would need to have that crank sent to the machine shop uh, so they can remachine that crank for you but other than that that is pretty much done for so do yourself a favor guys and take care of your motor if not it will end up like this so let me take the crank off and um i'll go ahead and i'll pretty much uh, put this video to an end so let me go ahead and take off those last two pistons for you and uh we'll move this video right along so see that This bearing is a lot nicer than the other two, but I suspected that. Yeah, see this is nice and smooth. This is what it's supposed to look like. This is what your bearings are supposed to look like. Here's a good shot of a good one, considering the circumstances on this block. But this is nice and smooth. Bearings are bearings are the correct depth. They're not super skinny, like like this one here. You could just see the difference. Look at how skinny that is compared to this. Where's the other one? No. 
you can even compare it to this. This is a broken one. That's pretty horrible, guys. And all this can be avoided by changing your oil. Here's another one. Bearings only go on one way, too. You see that notch? That's the way the bearing goes. All right, let me zip off this crank, and then uh, that'll pretty much be it. So we have the flywheel side removed. And now we're going to go ahead and remove the oil pump side. Always use a rubber mallet when you're handling these. It's aluminum. And uh, you can't damage any of these components. Right. Whoa! Holy jamoli! Okay. She is out. And... This is the end result of a bad bearing. You can just see that right there. I forgot to take out the uh, crank pulley bolt. So, got disconnected. So, let me give you guys a quick look up close. See that crank? That thing is completely scarred up due to that bearing being shot. This one, nice and clean, nice and smooth. Nice and clean, nice and smooth. Clean, smooth. All throughout. So yeah, that is pretty much it. Let me get you a nice little close up. On the inside. So this is what happened. Notch up there. Looks like that one was starting to, to become out of spec as well. So yeah, I wouldn't even use this block. This block is a no-go. If you want to risk it, go for it. But I wouldn't use anything that's been damaged to this extent. The cylinder 4 is totaled. And the crank is totaled as well so with that said that'll conclude this video and thanks again for tuning in guys and as always change your oil stay up to date on it take care of your cars if you love them please keep up on the oil thanks again for tuning in with built j also known as j built and stay tuned i got more good content coming for you Thanks again and have a great night.